Hello everyone, I hope you are keeping great and enjoying learning. In my previous videos, we discussed about some common phrases and their usage in daily conversation. And we also learned about what is acceptable and what is not acceptable in the standard English language. Today's video is about another interesting topic which would add on to your learning. We come across words which not only have multiple meanings but also have two meanings and they are opposite of one another. Such words are called autoantonym, contronym, contronym or genus word. Now what does that mean? It simply means a word with multiple meanings or senses which are opposite of one another. I'll give you an example. Clip it. It can either mean to cut off or to attach to. Interestingly, the terms autotonym and contronym were coined by Joseph Twaddell Shipley, who was an American drama critic and author in the year 1960 and Jack Herring in the year 1962 respectively. An auto antonym is also known by the name of autotonym or self antonym or genus word. Genus was which is used after the Roman god Genus who is usually depicted with two faces. Now that was all about its nomenclature now we'll learn about some auto antonym and their usage in sentences. The first word is sanction. It can mean to give official permission or approval for. The contrary meaning can be to impose a penalty on. Here's the usage of the word in two different sentences. We receive a sanction to proceed with the scheme. Prison is the best sanction for many heinous crimes. The second word is left. It can either mean to remain or depart. Here is an example. Jenny remained in a sour mood and left the group as soon as possible. The contrary example is there are some chocolates left on the shelf the third word is cleave the word can be cleaved into two homographic meaning which means a word having two different origins which end up spell the same the first meaning of cleave can be to cling to or adhere to and the second meaning is to split or sear. An example, a married couple might cleave to one another while a lumberjack will cleave the log in two. The fourth word is resign. It works as a contronym in writing. Resign means to quit as in she resigned from the job that she was having for long 10 years and to resign that means to sign up Roger resigned the business contract with Jack the fifth word is overlook that means to fail to notice something or miss something as in I overlook the details the contrary meaning can be to see something from above. The house overlooked the sea. The sixth one is dust. It can either used to mean to sprinkle something as in the French toast was lightly dusted with powdered sugar and the contrary meaning can be to remove dust as in the maid dusted the mantelpiece 
The last word is peruse. It can mean to consider in attention or in detail. As in, he opened the newspaper and perused the advertisement pages. The contrary meaning can be to look over something in a casual or a cursory manner. Here is an example. Dean shrugged his shoulder and opened and perused the reports, hoping that the young man would take a hint and leave. That was all for today. I hope you learn about auto antonym and their usage in sentences. You can write in the comment section below how many more auto antonyms that you that were known to you and I'll be back with some more videos. Till then, take care and goodbye.